Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Um, we'll just jump right in. In the chapel, we have Psalms 119.11. I have hidden your words in my heart so that I may not sin against you. Um, just trying to get back to being happy. Me, um, last couple of weeks have been kind of tough. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm back. I'm, I'm forgetting all of that and getting back to what's true to in my heart so totally hooked I have a lot of little things if you remember I've been talking about this for weeks I am finishing up a lot of Christmas presents um, I have made everything this year and I'm pretty proud of myself I did spend one evening weaving in all ends except for one and that's because it wasn't made at the time so it still has ends but you'll see um so the first thing that i finished that's of importance um and this is in the fiber arts thing is i made the gentleman at work the hat i don't know that he'll like the pom-pom but i kind of like it i don't know i i just yeah i like it so i got that one done then i um worked on a couple of small projects just because i can't work on the big project i need to work on when roommate is here so um i am working on that one all day i worked on some of it tuesday i will be working on it all day as soon as i get done recording this um while i do laundry and stuff the other things that i have that are totally hooked is i made roommate and i both coffee cozies um, it's getting cooler out. We use our coffee to go to work and roommates doesn't fit in the console very good. So I figured if I made a coffee cozy, number one, it would insulate it. Number two, it might fit in the cup holder in the truck a little bit easier. So, um, this is the one that I don't have the ends woven in, um, or at least I don't think I do. No. So yeah, I just finished this last night, you know, looks like I got, nope, I have two ends. But I just shoved them in. This one's mine. And it keeps my coffee nice and insulated. And it doesn't get my hands so hot. So, um, all right. Then I also worked on, let me throw this aside. Uh, I ended up making, I made the two coffee cozies and this in the evening when I don't, when I can't really work on roommate's Christmas gift. So I made this one for me. I made a bunch of these for um, Christmas and i made this one for me just as an extra the other thing that i um finished up was and again there's little things that i did you guys saw that i was working on making some of the canvas bags again um i got those all finished cam snaps are on top i've got those for this the ones they're just extras um, I might throw them in with a couple of other people's Christmas gifts. Don't know. Then I made, um, I have three of these and three bars of soap. And then I took three bags. Now these are Christmas gifts for some people that I work with. I had made them prayer shawls. And if you remember, I gave them the prayer shawls early. So with them getting the prayer shawls early, they know that I made those for Christmas, but I'm not going to not give them a Christmas gift as I give everyone else in the office one. So they will get these little packages as kind of a, you know, Christmas gift that goes with the shawl. So these are totally done and ready to be wrapped. All the ones for the office, um, I think there was 13 of them. They're all done. So, and all the ends are woven in. Um, they all got little bags like you saw with the hat. Um, they all got bags like this or it had paw prints on it and a solid color on the inside. Two cam snaps to keep it closed. And then uh, this happens to be the one gentleman that works at the office and he got a hat. The rest of them got either cowls or headbands. And those are all done. Ends are all woven in. I'm super proud of myself for that. Um, then I also had started this and the problem is, is that 
I have to pay attention. So when I, if I really get engrossed in what's on TV, can't really do this, but I'm all the way up to a color change. And I don't know if you can see, there it is. I've got one row of the color change. And this is the one that came in the um, kit that was the extra. And it's done off that chart. It's this one. Um, yeah. It, uh, I'm not very organized today. I'll say that. Um, I have continued to work on this. And if I get this done in time, I already know who's getting this for Christmas. And it's not me. <laughs> so I have that one that I can work on when I'm not sidetracked with television and such. Um, you might see a little more smaller projects being worked on because like I said, when roommate is home, I can't work on the big one that I need to get done. Now I worked on it Tuesday and I will be working on it the rest of today. Uh, and I'm trying to finish the back. I do have some still to do on the front. Um, these are the front pieces. Nope, that's the back piece. Hold on. These are the front pieces. And I do need to make it a little taller. So um, it should do good, I'm hoping. But I need to put another couple of inches on there. I can't remember how many inches I'm at, how many it has to be total. Let me look here. So. On these, I am already at 32 rows, but it's got to come out to be about 30 inches long. So, um, this is pretty far. Oops, wrong one. That's pretty far. You know, it's pretty close to 30 inches. Not exactly, so I need to go up a little bit more and just kind of make these longer. And it's gonna be a cute little vest. I think anyway. Oops, that's the. So, um, yeah. Roommate's taller than me. So, yep. It is definitely getting there. Um, I have got the, like I said, the front. Once I get down to the, to just the front and those few inches, I'll be fine. This is, I have got to go up to. 32 rows total on the back and as you can see it's just back and forth back and forth um, I think I've got 11 more rows before I start the decrease and when I say decrease it's just the shoulder so that it makes the line back here um, so yeah this one and I stopped mid row I don't know why probably had to oh it was Tuesday I had to put it up because roommate came home and I had lost track of time and I had Krista and yeah, we just slammed that baby in the bag and she was laughing. She thought that was funny because I was like, oh no. And so, yeah, I've got it. And it, like I said, has to go up to 32. I think I have like 10 or 11 more rows to do that and then start getting it all put together at the top with the right length. So, um, I will be working on that. A lot today so hopefully next week you will get to see that if I have my way it'll be done I don't know that it'll be done but if I have my way it'll be done so um, this is the one that I'm gonna work on the most and then um, I've got the little slippers that I'm gonna start after this so that um, I'll have those done in time for Christmas and I might have I only have like one, possibly two uh, Christmas gifts left to do. And the thing is, is the, the possible two, it's my daughter and I've made like three things and I can't decide which one is hers. And RJ is always the hardest. So I don't have his done. Um, I may do him some fingerless mitts and a hat a beanie hat um, just because he always has like you know a hoodie hat on or something and so I thought if I did I want to go and find I I have this spinning that I'm doing and I'm thinking I'm gonna spin it and make it real wool and that would um, definitely help him with his 
job at the sale barn. It would make him more comfortable, should we say. So I've got those two to do. Um, I haven't been dyeing anything. Like I said, I've been working on the spinning. I think what I'm going to do is spin while roommate's around and work on that when roommate's gone. Just saying. Uh, we don't have a whole lot going on. This week has just been a crazy week. Working, getting things done. Um, helping RJ get some things done. Uh, paying his bills and stuff. Like I ran to the bank and the post office and the city hall to pay the water. Just silly stuff like that. Um, but nothing major. And just me getting back to being me emotionally. Um, it's hard to set the reset button, if that makes sense. So, um, I am planning on doing a few things for me personally, but other than that, today I am just cleaning house and doing, uh, roommate and I have been looking for a new couch, um, because the one that we have in this house is an old hand-me-down it's probably 50 years old maybe you know um it's pretty yeah used and it's the one that's in the den is the one that we need to replace and we thought about taking the one from up here and putting it down there i just don't want to i i just don't want to and if roommate wants to do it roommate can do it on their own that's all i'm saying so um we have been out looking for that uh, planning Thanksgiving dinner, so we have already set our menu. Um, it looks like it will be on the weekend and not on actual Thanksgiving because some of us have to work and a uh, roommate has Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Me, being low person on the totem pole, I have Thursday and Sunday. So yeah and i don't know if i have to work half day that saturday i might not have to i don't know but i don't get friday so and i don't get wednesday to cook and if you remember i normally do a big meal and i cook all day wednesday so yeah um i'll be fitting it in <laughs> we'll be fitting it in um but the big thing is is that i am really really proud of myself for getting number one all my Christmas stuff done working on it through all year long um, and being able to make everyone something so that to me is super super special uh, I do know that there's a couple of festivals that I'm gonna go to uh, I think that I am going to go to Chris Klingelmacht. I always do that. I'm just, I don't know, just trying to find the Christmas spirit and the holiday spirit. Not just Christmas, but the holiday spirit and get back to being me. So, um, yeah, I know this one's really short because I've had such little things. RJ hasn't been rodeoing. He's stayed home. He's working outside horses. Um, I've been doing little projects and trying to get things finished up. Um, and literally I have the geo, I have the booties that came in the, or slippers that came in the kit that I haven't started yet. And then I have this one that I'm pushing to get done. After this one, I am going to push to get that geo done because that's another big one. And then I really just have this little one that I'm working on. So I, after I get this done and the boot, the slippers done, I will have to actually look for a project to do. Yeah, so I've been looking through some patterns and seeing what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I might revert back to spinning for a while and some dyeing and go from there. I do have to get RJ's finished, so I will be working on roommates and spinning some wool to make RJ something for wool. Um, I'm thinking a beanie of some kind. And I actually was thinking I might knit it. People say that it's tighter, but I think I'm going to do it in Tunisian crochet. 
uh, just because that is the thickest and it will make it the most warm. So anyway, I know it's short and sweet, but lots of finished little projects and I've got to get to work on that schedule or on that schedule. <laughs> I have scheduled to work on that vest. So I'm going to get off of here. I hope everybody is having a great November. I hope the weather is not going crazy for you guys. I'm praying everyone's life is just calming, at, calming down, leveling out, and I am rebuking the devil. He's to get out of my life, out of everything. And so that's where I stand today. <laughs> Tomorrow I might give in. No, <laughs> I would never give in. So just saying. Um, the only other thing I have going on is I've got to schedule a dentist appointment and get a little tooth. I had a tooth fixed, but they found another one that's got a, a chip off the filling, so I've got to go do that. Other than that, that's it. I'm working on that sweater and trying to get it done today. Probably won't happen, but I have faith. I'll get the back done at least. So I will talk to you all later. Have a blessed day and week and... Please, please, please let me know that y'all are doing okay. <laughs>